Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another type of resource that you can create for use within your projects is the cost resource. Cost resources are different from work and material resources in that cost resources represent costs that are commonly incurred in order to complete various tasks within a project. For example, if you had client meeting as a task within a project, you may want to create a cost resource, for example, travel, in order to track the costs of travel associated with completing the client meeting task. Note that there are often many tasks that do not require cost resources within a project file. However, the ability to track that type of information is available for users who do need to track costs associated with completing tasks within their project files. To create cost resources within a project file, display the desired project file and then ensure that you're viewing the data in the resource sheet view. Next, enter the desired cost resource information into the next blank resource row available. Be sure to select cost from the type drop-down to indicate that this resource is a cost resource. If you are using the resource information dialog box to enter your resources, you select the type on the general tab. Also, if using the dialog box, be sure to click the OK button to save your data entry when you are finished to add the cost resource into the resource sheet view. Another important difference between cost resources and work or material resources is that cost resources have no default cost or pay rate associated with their creation. In Microsoft Project, you only enter the cost of the resource when it is assigned to a task within the project. We will examine assigning resources to tasks in a later chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.